so today we will discuss how to analyze frame structures by using stiffness method so there are several steps for analyzing frame structures by using stiffness method and they are one first step is to calculate kinematic indeterminacy of this frame and second we will assign number of system coordinates number of system coordinates will be equal to the number of degree of freedom or kinematic indeterminacy after assigning the system coordinates we will assign element coordinates and then we will calculate the fixed end moment for fixed end moments uh, we know the equations for udl uniformly distributed loads and uh, for pin loads or concentrated loads so uh, with that equations we can calculate the fixed end moment and fifth step is to form displacement transformation matrix we will see how to develop displacement transformation matrix and after that we will find out the stiffness matrix in element coordinates which is also known as element stiffness matrix for each member of the frame after developing this element stiffness matrix we will develop stiffness matrix for the entire structure stiffness matrix can be developed or which is equal to the transpose of transpose of displacement transformation matrix into element stiffness matrix into displacement transformation matrix itself so it will give us stiffness matrix and after developing stiffness matrix we will develop force matrix and by knowing this force matrix and stiffness matrix we will develop displacement matrix which is equal to minus of k inverse into p for k inverse is the inverse of stiffness matrix and p is the force matrix after this we will calculate the final end moment so by using a example let us see how to calculate how to do this stiffness method so the question is analyze the frame by using stiffness method ei is unity for all members so it is said that ei value of ei is equal to unity which is 1 so first step is to find out the kinematic indeterminacy of the structure for calculating the kinematic indeterminacy we know that we have a uh, three joints 1 2 and 3 and we have two members they are 1 and 2 and the number of constraints constraints means number of reactions at each support they are for this structure this is they are two fixed supports so the number of reactions are three for each support so number of constraints for the entire structure is three plus three which is equal to six by applying these values into the equation of degree of freedom or kinematic indeterminacy 3j minus m plus c we will get the degree of freedom of this structure is equal to 1. That is, the structure is kinematically indeterminate to first degree. Okay. Now, let us see the second step. So, the second step, we have to assign system coordinates. System coordinate is assigned where we will be... System coordinate is assigned at the point at which we have degree of freedom so in this structure we can, since these two supports are fixed there is no degree of freedom and the only degree of freedom which can happen here in the structure is at this joint so we are providing one moment or one system coordinate at this free moment free end okay so the system coordinate is assigned next step is to assign element coordinates so for every element there will be two coordinates like this one star two star three star and four star so we have four element coordinates for this particular structure and after this we will calculate the fixed end moment so fixed end moments can be calculated by using an equation by considering this entire structure as fixed end at both ends so uh, first we will take one member in the structure we have two members a b and b c 
So first we will take one member and evaluate fixed end moment of that particular member and find out the fixed end moments of each end. Okay. So let us take the first moment, first member AB. For AB, there is no load acting at any point. So we are, we know fixed end moment at AB will be zero since when we write when we consider AB, there is no loads acting at AB. So the fixed end moment at A and fixed end moment at B are 0. So I can write fixed end moment AB is equal to 0. Fixed end moment BA is equal to 0. Now I am taking the structure BC. The member BC. And in BC we have a load 40 kN is acting at the center. So with equation from the equation of fixed end moment, we know if a concentrated load is acting at the center, the fixed end moment will be minus WL by 8 at left hand side and plus WL by 8 will be at the right hand side. So fixed end moment at BC will be minus 40 into LS length of BC 4 by 8 which is equal to minus 20. And for fixed end moment, CB is equal to WL by 8, which is equal to plus 20 kilonewton meter. So the fourth step is over. And the step 5 is form a displacement transformation matrix. So in order to form a displacement transformation matrix, we should know the displacement of each element coordinates or the point at which element coordinates are assigned due to the system coordinate. So we have only one system coordinate and due to this one system coordinate, if we provide a displacement at B, in this case it is B, this is A, this is B and this is C. We, when we provide a displacement at B, since A and C are fixed ends, there won't be any displacement occur. So the displacement at A will be 0 and displacement at C will be 0. So I can write at 1 star, displacement is 0. 2 star, since it is at B, displacement will be 1. And 3 star, displacement will be 1. And 4 star, displacement will be 0. So the displacement transformation matrix A can be written as 0, 1, 1, 0. So 0 stands for 1 star, 1 stands for 2 star, 3 star, and 4 star. Okay. Now the second sixth step it is to form the element stiffness matrix we know the equation for element stiffness matrix for a beam since we are considering the entire frame as different number of beams the equation for element stiffness matrix for a beam is k star is equal to ei by l into 4 2 2 4 so i am just writing down l is the length of the member so element stiffness matrix for AB will be equal to EI by 4 into 4, 2, 2, 4, which is equal to, since I am multiplying the matrix with 1 by 4, it will be equal to EI into 1.5.51. And similarly, KBC will be also EI into 1.5 and 0.51. So I can write the element stiffness matrix for entire structure. It will be K star is equal to EI into 1.5.51. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.51, and it will be coming at the di diagonal elements. Okay, so this is the element stiffness matrix for entire structure. Now the seventh step is to develop the stiffness matrix. As we all know, the stiffness matrix can be developed by using the equation A transpose into K star into A. So A transpose is 0110 and A is the displacement matrix and K star is the element stiffness matrix for the structure and A is again displacement matrix. When we multiply this, we will get the equation answer as 2 into EI. Now this eighth step is to develop force, develop force matrix. So force matrix is nothing but the fixed end moment at the point at which we applied force. So here the fixed fixed end moment, here we have applied fixed end moment at B is equal to minus 20 because there is only 
one concentrated load acting in the structure and that is between B and C. So FEM of BC will be, it was we found out in step number four, it was minus 20. So the force matrix is minus 20. Now we can develop the displacement matrix. Displacement matrix can be found out by using equation. Since here the displacement is theta, only angle difference is there. So the theta at B can be calculated by using minus K inverse into P. And K inverse, since K value of K is 2i, so K inverse will be 1 by 2, 2ei. So minus into 1 by 2ei into minus 20, which is equal to 10. So 10 is the angle at B. Now the final step is to calculate the final end moment by using slope deflection method. So we know the, uh, the equation for slope deflection method. Equation in slope deflection method to calculate the final end moment that is MAB is equal to FEMAB plus 2EI by L into 2 theta A plus 2 theta B. 2 theta A plus theta B. So if it is from A to B then theta A will be multiplied with 2. If it is from B to A, theta B will be multiplied with 2. So that is the only difference. All the equations are same for all the members. So we are just applying that values of FEM AB and theta A. Since theta A is 0, theta B is value we just got in the previous step that was 10. So when apply all these values and it was given that EI is unity that is EI value is 1. So I'm just applying all the values. We will get the final end moment at AB is 5 kilonewton meter. For BC, so BA is 10 kilonewton meter. And for BC, just applying the value, that's it. Here theta A is 0, theta A is 0, theta B is 10, and theta C is 0, right? So we are just applying all this value in this equation and FEM, AB, BA, BC, we have found out FEM, CB. So we calculated all the final end moments by using slope deflection method equation. So we got the final end moments at each member or each element coordinates. Now let us put all together into the figure final end moments 5 kN and at B. BA it is 10 kN at BC it is minus 10 so it is in anti-clockwise then at CB it was 25 so clockwise again so this is the final end moment of the structure given okay thank you